Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. So yeah, I'm currently in my office and as you can see in the background, so it has completely changed from uh, my usual videos. Uh, so yeah, currently I'm uh, shooting on my phone and using my microphone as my mic. So I hope the audio will be fine. And it's quite cold outside, it was snowing. Now it is reducing a bit, it's completely white outside. I have taken some of the videos, I will put them in this video just for you guys to see if you want. Uh, but the discussion uh, for this video is all about things you should focus on and uh, learn apart from your core modules as part of your master's in data science so that it will help you guys to find jobs relatively easily after you complete your master's. So that's what I will be discussing in this video. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It keeps you motivated to make videos for you guys. And if you're new here or if you subscribe to the channel, please go to subscribe to the channel and be a part of the programming kettle family. And also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. And uh, if you want to have one-to-one -one conversation with me, you can join uh, channel membership. There you can schedule a meeting with me. Now, with that being said, uh, we can start our discussion now. So the first thing is Git, GitHub. Both are different things, but uh, they work closely to each other. So it's very important for you to know this tool is because when you go to industry, you work in team, you collaborate with lot with lot of other developers, and uh, most of the companies are using Git and uh, that is going to help you a lot if you already will have some knowledge about git if not in-depth knowledge and uh, when you will start working on git some even in interviews some of the companies do ask uh, do you have any experience with git or not so if you will have uh, those experience on your resume if you will have those tools under your belt i'm pretty sure that will help you and uh, it will give you an edge over a fresher or a candidate who is just out of their college and they don't really have any idea about git so even as a fresher it's important to have good understanding and knowledge about git so that's the first skill which most of the universities don't cover but in the industry it is being used quite heavily now with that if we move on to the next skill which it is cloud computing or cloud related platforms so it can be anything it can be gcp it can be azure it can be aws but from what I have seen in the industry, most of the companies are using AWS. So you can actually learn AWS for free from AWS uh, Educate uh, platform. I will leave the link in the description there. You have a lot of different courses and it's not just about AWS. It's like how to carry out the whole data science lifecycle on AWS platform. There's something like uh, uh, cybersecurity courses related to AWS. There are cloud computing courses related to AWS. So there are a lot of different type of uh, uh, courses on AWS Educate. Again, link will be in the description and it is for free. You can actually learn those things for free. So it's definitely worth checking out. And I wish I knew about that platform before when I was in my master's. I would have learned quite a lot which I am learning right now. So I had a bit of uh, idea about uh, Google Cloud Platform, but I was completely new to AWS and right now I'm learning AWS. So it's a good experience. I'm liking AWS more than GCP. And uh, also if you want to learn Azure, I think they have free certification course or something like that. So I will find a link and I will put it in the uh, description so that you can probably go to Azure if you're interested in Azure. But in my opinion, AWS is probably the most popular platform which is being used in the industry. So if you uh, learn AWS, I think it should be fine. Now with that, if we move on to the next point, which is as part of our masters, we primarily focus too much on deep learning because it's new, it's trendy. And we feel like most of the companies would want to use deep learning. And yes, there are companies uh, shifting towards deep learning, but there are still a lot of companies and I would say majority of the companies, they still want to use machine learning, mainly because machine learning is more explainable as compared to deep learning. Deep learning is more of a black box and uh, also the performance or I would say yeah, performance of the machine learning models are faster as compared to deep learning models and deep learning models take quite a lot of data to be trained on and machine learning models don't have that limitation. And with the uh, XGBoost, I think most uh, the machine learning model that we are training using XGBoost algorithm, they are performing at par with a lot of uh, uh, deep learning algorithms. So again, machine learning is very important at this uh, point. Uh, so when you are uh, learning about machine learning and deep learning, it's important you focus 
on uh, machine learning more than uh, deep learning if you are able to focus on both and if you are able to master both it's more than enough and i would say it's the best case scenario but if you are struggling to figure out which one to focus more i would highly suggest you to be very good with your machine learning skills and once you feel like yes you are comfortable you know each algorithm their architecture and uh, math behind them then you can move on to deep learning so that's what i would suggest to most of the people and uh, i have seen a lot of people in my batch they did not have very good understanding about uh, machine learning and they straight away jumped into deep learning and yes they were able to implement that because implementing an algorithm is not that hard considering we have all the packages like keras tensorflow pytorch we can literally do that or we can simply just go to github or copy some code and it will work fine but that's not what uh, companies want they want you to have very good understanding about all these algorithms and that's what you should focus on and uh, when and now they are trying to find a job and when they are going to interviews they are asking them questions uh, related to machine learning and uh, they are not able to answer even the basic questions which is quite sad because they had a lot of time to l- uh, learn about that and even i uh, suggested some of the people but some took that and they have got a job but then some people just ignored it and they are still struggling for that uh for clearing the interview so that's there that's why i wanted to uh put this point also in this video because i if you are watching this video and if you are doing your masters in data science i would highly suggest you to focus on uh, machine learning more than deep learning because deep learning is not everything but once you are done with your machine learning part then obviously going for deep learning is a good option now with that we will move on to the next point which is you have to become really good with your communication skills as part of your masters you might do all the assignments individually and you will not have to collaborate with a lot of people and uh, also you will be doing some group projects as well there also you will barely have like four or five people in your group and especially they will be your friends so you won't mind communicating with them but when you go to corporate world and when you go to your work you will be interacting with lot of people from the de- uh, different various backgrounds so few people will be from uh, technical domain so that's totally fine but there will be people who won't be from technical background so if you will say like uh, hypothesis testing or you will say you will use some statistical terms like uh, ks test or things like that uh they won't understand those things so you will have to explain those things in a very layman term and you will have to use very non technical uh wording so that's what you should focus on and uh, whenever you do some presentation as part of your masters try to explain them in a very easier way even though they are professor and obviously when you will use your uh, technical terms they will understand them very well so but to get good marks i think you should use technical terms so what you can do is you can explain them uh, first in a very um, layman term like you will teach uh let's say 15 year old kid and uh, then you can go into in depth and uh, then you can use all the technical terms so that they will like those terms and probably you will get more marks so that's how you should actually present your uh, presentation and actually they will like it because you they will know that yes you have good understanding about uh, something so that you are able to simplify that thing and you are able to explain that because if you don't have good and good understanding about something it will be really hard for you to simplify something and then explain it so this is what i would suggest you guys to have a very good communication skills and be able to explain things in a much uh, simpler way so yeah these are the points which i wanted to cover in this video if there are more points i will probably make another video part 2 of this one and i will cover that cover those points in that but for now i think these points should give you a good understanding about what things to uh, consider while your masters because yeah these are the points which not many people talk about and even professors won't uh, tell you what extra things you should do they will try to uh tell you to focus on the course content which is good you should do that and try to achieve as much as much marks you can and uh, yeah so that's what i wanted to cover in this video i hope you found this video helpful if you did give it a thumbs up it keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys and if you are subscribed to the channel go ahead subscribe to the channel i keep making these kind of content for you guys you can also download our 
data science notes link in the link will be in the description and you can join our telegram group again link will be in the description i will probably post the discord server link as well there are few things that i need to uh, do in that uh, or rather i would ask my brother because he is really good with discord so once those things are done i will leave the link to the discord server as well into the description so you can join that as well so yeah with that being said i will get back to my work and it's now 9 11 so i reached here at 8 45 <clears throat> so yeah i will get back to my work and uh, hope to see you guys in the next video bye happy learning